Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hobbits. Today, joined by Just Michael. Looking at another Mikkel Bauhound release from their project in Copenhagen mm -hmm. with the Aaron, aka the Sour Scientist, making lots of different sours and wild ales that they brew base beers for at Warpigs and then age them in oak barrels and macerate them with fruit and whatnot at the Bauhound place. Um, so, this is a bottle that I actually got for my birthday, and a lot of the bottles of Bauhaus beers you can't really get unless you buy them in Copenhagen. No. You try to keep it more local, this stuff, like mm. instead of putting it on the webshop and whatnot. There's also smaller batches. But this is the Mikela Bauhaus Norlunds Field Blend. So this is apparently a Danish wild ale. They, they started putting that on there as well because it's made with a lot of it local Danish, like oh. local uh, flora or uh, microbes, whatever, from, uh, from nature outside. Uh, that they grow in their lab. So this one is made with grapes from Nolan Winery. Nolan is a one of the Danish wineries, and it's made with a, what they call table and red wine grapes. Okay. I don't know what, what a table is. grape is. Though. I don't know that much about wine, but no, me neither. it's been aged in 18 months in oak floaters, mm -hmm. and uh, French oak floaters, and it's on 8.8%. So it's a very strong. strong, yeah, quite a strong... Uh, Sour. sour. It says, yeah, it says here, Danish wine and table. Is, it a, wild, is it a, a funky beer? Or so, yeah, wild or? ale. So it should, it's a, a, okay, it says American wild ale here. Okay. But I think they started to say Danish wild ale in the new bottles. But yeah, so wild ales are often should a have more some funky. Kind of funky yeah. and not, and sometimes I feel like, originally I remember wild ales from the States being more funky, but not that sour. But yeah. that's not always the case. So, uh, yeah, it's made with water, water, body malt, malt, grape, hops, yeast, bacteria, and each in the oak floaters. So, this is going to be your first Bauhaus Yeah, beer? my first Bauhaus, yeah. Well, you should try more when we're in Copenhagen for NBCC, because it's great. I'll try that, yeah. Hopefully, they have a keg of Pantau to try, because that's one of the best I've had so far. Yeah, I saw that on the review. Yeah, Brett was really into that beer. He was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but this one looks very nice in the glass. It's yeah. like a nicely, nice, lightly pink... Yeah, color. reddish orange mm -hmm. color, copper dark like yeah, mix of red and copper or something. Yes. Almost like mix light of raspberry and rhubarb cause something. Yeah, yeah, almost it's a nice. lightly pink head on there. Strawberry or something. Yeah, That's yeah. The aroma, totally white, pinkish. It's really funky. Really doesn't like, smell that sour. No, uh, it's like really funky grape quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like grape skin. It definitely has grape grapes, skin. Yeah. Yeah, and then, mm. ooh, yeah, even like raspberry or something as well, like some fruitiness. Yeah, definitely some fruitiness, but not oak. rhubarb. Lots of oak. Strawberry? Green strawberry? Yeah, 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 I agree. And then there's, yeah, it's like this dusty, woody, oaky, funky. Yeah, it has a, yeah, yeah, exactly. Not cellar, not cellar. Uh, no, that's not the muscle, but like, just like funky old wood. Yeah, yeah. Funky old wood. <laughs> Play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> funky That's old good. wood. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird uh, cap on this too. Yeah, I don't. I think it's kind of plastic thing. I think I saw they got a cork thing uh, or cork cork machine. I don't know what that's called, but this, I think I saw some a video on Facebook where they had the corks in the bottles. But maybe they were that was a collab and made it another brewery. But. I think this is for oxidation or something. But it's it's, it's almost uh, herbal. Mm -hmm. Herbal. Yeah. It smells very good though. And some spices, some timian or basilic. Thyme? Yeah, thyme. thyme and basilic. That's Basil. Tasty. Smells very nice. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Definitely some sourness on the flavor. Yeah. Not so funky. No, more, more sour on the yeah. sour grape quality. Raspberry. It's almost like rosé like actually. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. but it got some more fruitiness than yeah, I was saying. Definitely raspberry. I'm also getting lime. Yeah. Grape, grape, not grapes, but grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really well made. Good kick of... Um, it's dry. Yeah, it's quite dry. Yeah, it's good dry. kick of oak, like dry, oaky, mm. woody flavor. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is good. This is really nice. I think by night now these guys are making some of the best sours in Denmark. Um, there's not too many breweries here doing sours at the moment. I'm thinking about what if fruit I'm was, was, what it was involved. But what fruit? I'm thinking I can actually almost see rhubarb, but they're yeah, raspberry, yeah. Uh, like grape. It's almost like to me, it's a grape it's flavor that reminds fruits. me of rosé. Green fruits. Yeah. Not not but under not, fruits. Yeah, underripe fruits. Underripe grapes almost. 
It's like a medium sourness. It's not yeah, too sour. Right. So you can see why they call it a, a wild ale. Uh, it has a bit of sweetness to it, malt sweetness. Yeah, but it also, as you say, it has some some wine features too mm. uh, from the grapes, white grapes, red grapes. Yeah. But that's the bitter sourness thing. Yeah, it has that, that, that tannity, almost like yeah, grape exactly. skin type flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so dry on the aftertaste. So dry. Very good mouthfeel as well. And it, almost 9%. It drinks super easily. Yeah, yeah. You don't taste that at all. No. Oh. I think it's very good. I don't think it's the best beer I've had from them, but I think it's very nice. It sour. is the best I've had. Also, the only one, but yeah. <laughs> for me, this one's like. It's a nice sour. For me, this is like a 93. 92. Yeah, like I would say it's 92. It's not mind blowing. It's mm -hmm. not, but it's good. But it's it's really very good, good sour. Yeah, yeah. but not too sour. Uh, the sourness is, uh, is yeah, it's nice. nice. Yeah, it's, it's not the, too much, not too little. The stem spare uh, was the first they did was fucking awesome. But I still think the best is definitely Pantao. That was really great. They also Grandila or something was also very nice. One thing I missed though is the the uh, funkiness. There's almost yeah, no funk. Salt. I could use a bit of funkiness in this. Yeah, one. it's there's. I mean, there was more funk on the aroma than the flavor. Yeah, this is uh, mostly sour. But the aroma is actually quite funky. Which yeah, is interesting. it's well, weird. It's not yeah. as full on on the flavor. But underripe red fruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, so, yes. if you guys had a chance to try the Michaela Bauhaun Norlands Field Blend, well, actually, I think I'm gonna go 91. 91. Okay. But it's okay. It's quite nice. So. Yeah, if you guys had a chance to try it, let us know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review. Yep. Kammelstrand. Spork the land skating. Mare dirty man. Nu skal vi hjem, hej hej! Det minder lidt om Sigurds bjørneteam. Nu skal vi hjem! Sigurds bjørneteam! Hedrads bjørneteam! Velkommen til Sigurds bjørneteam! Velkommen til Sigurds bjørneteam! Hvad siger bjørn, bjørn? Hvad siger bjørn, bjørn? Hvad siger bjørn, Michael? Yes, master. Yes, master. <laughs> oh, we're so Oh, tired. my God. No. Just a little tell about my father's first movie in Santa. Yes. I did it twice. No. Grapes. <laughs> Yo, grapes are not aphrodisiac. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is going to turn out oh. fucking great. Yes. Yep. <laughs>